Hello lovely people. Hello. And welcome to a video in which we maybe, possibly, find out the sex of our baby. <gasps> Maybe some old wives' tales, no, and uh, and can tell us. Yeah, there's many uh, funny, like non-scientific old wives' tale gender prediction tests. Yeah, many people nowadays go with a regular gender reveal, where they, you know, go to an actual hospital, ask an actual doctor, and then for some reason get a coloured cake or balloons. Mm. And we thought, no, 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 we're going to be a bit different. We're going to like accumulate all the old wives tests and then yeah. tally them on an excel screen yeah, screen. yeah, yeah. and then we, that is definitely gonna give us a hundred percent a hundred percent we needed to get some red cabbage and uh <laughs> and some baking powder, powder in your pee and uh, so we're gonna find out yeah uh we should just mention that everywhere says gender prediction but obviously we can't, can't predict, really gender predict gender because that's really. a social and cultural thing that will happen over time so yeah. it's actually a sex prediction test I mean, it's, it's probably none of those because I don't really think baking powder can tell you anything. So, it's definitely a baby though. It's a baby. Bye. I mean, we hope it's a baby. <laughs> On to test one. Okay, the shape of the belly. Is it a watermelon, in which case it's a boy, or round like a basketball, in which case it's a girl? Round or pointy? What do we think? Well, I think it is pointy. I mean, I can't really see it. <laughs> I can't, see, sure, the can't see the base of it, so it just looks like a brow of a hill. I think for that watermelon, is it a watermelon or a basketball? I mean, to be honest, I'm like, they're the same shape. But <laughs> that needs to be like, literally before you're about to give birth. Oh. Because obviously if you're like, 12 weeks pregnant, it's not going to be either of those. This is true, and you are currently only 28 weeks pregnant. Yes, it's not quite got to its full rotundness. Yes, and our baby still has room to move. I'm going to say it's round. But I feel like it's low, look, like you can't even see it in this. If your face has got rounder, you're having a girl. So what is it? I... I mean, I can't get my bum up there. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica will just have to be the judge of that. What do you think, darling? I would not dare comment on either of these things getting rounder. That's not true. She told me my bum has changed shape and it's got wider. <gasps> but I like it, so it's fine. <laughs> the skin on hands test. So apparently, if the skin on your hands is dry and chapped during pregnancy, you're more likely to be carrying a boy. Smooth skin means it's a girl. I mean, I have had quite... Sorry, chapped. sorry, excuse me. A apparently, people with eczema can only have boys. Yeah, I mean, I've got... I've had quite dry hands. Like, look at that, that's like really dry. But I could be putting <laughs> it down to the fact that we have to use a lot of hand gel these days. A boy. Hello, lovely person. This is a good old fashioned intermission. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Brexit, COVID, 2020, 2021, <sighs> I have tragically had to decide to close the PO box forever as some parcels were getting stuck in really weird locations due to new regulations and some very hefty import fees. Really, really hefty ones, tragically. Don't worry if you have already sent something, it will still make its way to us. But otherwise, the PO box runs out at the end of March. You are so, so lovely. And I know that some of you are gonna ask for ways that you can get the baby a present. And that's really kind of you. And obviously you absolutely do not have to do so. But Claudia and I have put together an Amazon wish list that just have a few little things that the baby might be interested in. Um, it's Montessori uh, based because you know, newest obsession. It was really difficult actually to find a way to do it that was super safe and didn't give out our address to the whole world. We tried to find something that wasn't like, oh, big business, and we very much failed. So it's an Amazon wish list. <laughs> Again, please, please don't feel like you have to send us anything. Just watching our videos, commenting, sharing them with your friends across the internet is really a present enough. And a big shout out to the members of my Calgary Face Art Club, which is my behind the scenes members only club here on YouTube, who get a special behind the scenes video every single month and lots of little extra goodies and in return support the channel and help me to make these videos for all of you wonderful people and are also acting as my maternity leave. So you know, they're actually really, really super amazing and I am so, so thankful to you guys. And if you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button down below. 
right next to the subscribe button. It's the big red one, it's, you know, pretty hard to miss. But if you still wish to send the baby something, the link to our registry will be in the description of this video. Oh, the show is about to resume. The planting corn test. Need a garden and two corn seeds. Water them with your pee. If the ears of corn that grow are black, it looks like a boy is on its way. But if yellow corn, it's then it's a sign you're having a girl. Either way, don't eat the corn. <laughs> okay, for the next test, I'm going to stick a fork and a spoon underneath these two chairs. Whichever one she sits on will tell us what the sex of the baby is. Spoon, girl, fork. Boy, let's find out. <coughs> Claudia, take a seat, darling. You look tired. Either seat, okay. seat of your choice. <gasps> da -da -da -da. <laughs> it is a spoon. We're having a girl. <laughs> Proof. <laughs> According to one Chinese gender test, your fetus is a boy if his right hand pushes the left side of your womb after the seventh month, and the opposite if it's a girl. Oh, baby just punched me. With his left hand or his right hand? On the left or the right of your womb? I don't know, I can't even tell his head from his ass right now. The salt test. You can also put salt on your breast before you go to sleep. If it's moist in the morning, you're having a baby girl. <sighs> no, darling, I'm not doing that. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about being pregnant <laughs> Great channel. This is the life of being pregnant. <laughs> I could do a whole episode on how to get out of bed. I'm sure people have done that. It's really quite a challenge. I will save that for a future video. Okay, Very watch good. this space. Like and subscribe for more. <laughs> In this test, we very scientifically have to use a gold chain. Please undo. It means using the necklace that I wear all the time. And a wedding ring. Okay, so I've got to jingle it and then we see. So if it goes around in circles, it's a girl. Or is that just to help it? Yeah. Thanks. The magnetic force oh, of my okay. Delhi. Didn't want it stopped by your t-shirt. All right. If it goes around circles, it's a girl. Back and forth, it's a boy. Oh, oh that that's a circle. circle. Having a girl. <laughs> yeah! The Mayan prediction test. To perform the Mayan gender prediction test, all you need is a couple of numbers. The year the baby was conceived and your age at conception. According to Mayan legend, if these numbers are both even or odd, you're welcome a girl. <gasps> but well, if one is even and the other is odd, it's a boy. Mm, well, 32, that's the age I was, mm -hmm. and 2020. <gasps> so, it's a girl. It is. But wait, that means you can never have twins who aren't the same sex. How does that work? Chinese gender calculator. This is a bit like the Mayan one. <laughs> date of birth, date of conception, September 18th, 2020. It was the day they did the egg collection and then they mix it with the dough and the sperm, so that's the date of conception. Yeah, wonderful thing about IVF, you can be really specific. Predict baby gender. Da, 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 da. It's, it's a girl! girl. Well, try again. <laughs> it wouldn't be try again, does it change it? Wait, let's have a look. Wait, why, why would you? In case you didn't like that answer. Let's just see. And you want to change your birthday? Or, or you're like, oh, you're I like, don't oh, know, maybe I actually conceived the day before because I'd rather have a different yeah. gender. I mean, ours we, we know for sure. Because like, everyone would know, surely, when they conceived to the date, would they? Like, they would or they wouldn't. No, most no, people wouldn't. <laughs> Most people wouldn't know exactly. Okay, what if we'd conceived, if it had actually been okay. the day. Or just says no. No, I'm gonna do it again results. in case it just decides to okay. <laughs> So put in exactly the same details. Da, 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 da. It's a girl! Okay, well that's good. Otherwise, it'd be like doing like somersaults in there right now. It's like, <laughs> that's my impression of like, it's just <laughs> sex changing like. <laughs> Yeah, it's that affected by the internet already. <laughs> so apparently my hair should be luscious and big mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, you know, full if I'm having a boy and limp and dry if I'm having a girl. What do you think? I would say your hair is gorgeous. You are stunning, amazing, beautiful. I mean, my the problem is my hair's normally really full, but in yes. a like, but I would say my hair's not limp, but it's more manageable. It looks really silky. Oh, okay, yeah, good, thank you. Okay, and then the other one is complexion. Is my complexion better than it was before? Am I glowing and radiant and lovely? Or am I like, you know, at death's door every day? <laughs> 
It's like dry. You I'm are glowing. Acne. You are an absolute weed. Yeah, I mean, I do. You some... are a star. Oh, I say it all around. <laughs> down things. the road. Can I take that eyes off you? Uh, I think that's because of my bump. <laughs> no, my skin is definitely better. Like, yeah. I do sometimes have a little bit, like, a few spots here on my chin or down up here on my temples. Did you say that uh, having a girl, like, sucks the beauty out of you? Which <laughs> is a really horrible yeah. thing to say, actually. Boy, girl. Boy, because you're beautiful. Oh, bye. <laughs> Trying to work out whether she is craving sweet foods, which means a girl, or salty food, which means a boy, and she is giving nothing away. She's craving everything. Very oh no, I've got paint on my trousers as well. <laughs> um, Claudia took a break to continue painting her potting shed. Yes, it's all in my hair. I haven't just gone <laughs> instantly white from the thought of what baby sex we're having. Yeah, she didn't just randomly like highlight some little bits. <laughs> Although I am getting a number of more white hairs. Maybe that's also telling. Who knows? It's probably that it's a girl because they should zap the youth out of you or something. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's what a number of old wives' tales and uh, various different cultures think that we're having based on a variety of kind of strange tests. Yes. I mean, I, I've lost kind of count, but I think most of them were girls. I mean, Who knows? Who knows? Well, let us know in the comments what you think yeah. we're having. Think it's a watermelon, basketball. Low. Do you think my hair looks good? Do you think my face looks good? <laughs> you better tell her she looks amazing. I will accept no other comments. Have I been especially moody? Apparently if you're especially moody, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy, no doubt, you've been a delight. Yeah. If you're happy, it's a boy. Well, you've been wonderful every single minute of every day. Good, because I'm like on maternity leave now and you've got me 24-7. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. <laughs> you didn't give me a full kiss though, did you? <laughs> Turned your cheek to me. God. Whatever. Alright. Love you. It's been fun, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! This is Tilly's YouTube channel. <laughs> the Tilly Show! The Tilly Show! The Tilly Show! What happens <laughs> on the Tilly Show? Uh, it's a show in which Tilly does not react to anything. <laughs> so that's all, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>